Okay, I'm going to continue this tutorial and show you uh, just some basic commands to get around your system in the shell. Uh, the first command is the ls command, which will list all the files in the current directory. Uh, and you can see they're color coded on most systems. Like uh, in this case, uh, blue uh, shows folders, which my desktop is in blue right there. Uh, now we can make create new folders by typing uh, mkdir for make directory. We're just going to make a directory called test. And now if we list again, you'll see that there is a folder called test. Now to move into that directory, we can do cd for change directory into the test folder. And if we do ls in here, you'll see nothing is displayed because there is nothing in that folder. I'm going to clear the screen here, and we're going to make a file. I'm just going to go echo hello, and then create a text.text .text file. Now if we do ls, you'll see that file is there. Now to go up one directory, so we're going to go back up into our home directory, we're going to do cd dot dot, and it'll bring you up one directory. So again, to get into that folder, we're going to do cd for change directory, the name of the folder, and you'll see we're in that folder. And we're going to, let's make another folder here inside the test folder, and we'll call it test2, and we'll cd into that folder. Oh, typo there, test2, nothing in that folder. Uh, so cd, we're in the test2 folder, in the test folder, and we're going to do cd dot dot to go back up one folder. Now we're in the test folder. You can tell where you are because it tells you right here you're in the test folder, test2 folder, and right here we're in the test folder. <coughs> if we ls again, we'll see that we have the uh, uh, text file that we created earlier. Um, now you can also do ls-l, which will list uh, the same files, but give you some more information here, like uh, the dates they were created or modified, and file size, and uh, uh, just other details like that. Now, uh, let's say we wanted to delete the text file, uh, the text.text .text file. We're going to use the rm for remove, and we're going to type the name of the file. And now if we ls, you'll see that that file's gone. The only thing we have left is the folder test2 that we created earlier. Now. Uh, Let's uh, say we want to delete the test2 folder, which will also delete everything that's in it. We're going to use the uh, remove-r for reclusive, because if, if you don't use the dash r and you just do test.2, it says invalid, it is a directory. So to delete a directory, we're going to do r for reclusive, which means folders and everything below it. So we do that, and now the test2 folder is gone. Uh, also, if you're ever curious of where you are, you can type in pwd for present working directory, and it displays the full path of where you are. We're in the home, uh, metal is my username, test folder. And anytime you want to get back to your home folder, you can just do cd, and this little squiggly tilde, or whatever you call it, uh, uh, is what signifies your home folder, so you can hit that. It will bring you to the home folder for me, which is home uh, metal. So those are just some uh, quick commands to get you around uh, your system.